Hey, good morning, guys. We are here at 1308 Niles. We're right on the edge of Highland Park and Mac Groveland in historic St. Paul. Just not even a block this way is gonna be Creighton Durham Hall High School. You've got the Nook, which is known for its Juicy Lucy's. You got a brand new uh, area of shopping, restaurants, Trader Joe's, that sort of stuff, kind of the other direction. Let's go take a look. This place is super cute. We've got all new siding in the last few years. It's hardy board. Just your classic quintessential uh, St. Paul front porch here. So cute, such a fun spot to enjoy a cup of coffee in the morning and uh, kick your shoes off before you come in the house. Okay, so here you're gonna walk in, you're gonna notice the original hardwoods. Lots of original woodwork, trim, uh, hardwood floors. It's what makes these St. Paul houses so cool. So once you come in here, you've got uh, a space off to the right that is currently used as kind of an office space, but this whole room really could be a lot of things. It's kind of a flex space. So they've got their TV set up like this. You could certainly put a TV over here and kind of change the arrangement of the room, um, but it's a pretty big space. Then you're gonna go into a, um, you could call it a formal or an informal dining. It's just a nice dining space. You've got your kitchen here. We'll head in there in just a second. But first, what we're gonna look at is one of the most unique features in this house and I would say overall in St. Paul for a home in this price point is gonna be a main level primary bedroom with its own bath. This is very uncommon in these old homes. So this actually was an addition at one point. So this is gonna be newer construction, newer windows, but you can see this is just a really nice size room. They did a nice job of keeping the floors consistent. Uh, they went with newer maple. So you can see there's a little bit of a difference between the two, but um, at least it's the same product. This door goes right to the outside, right to a back patio, which is awesome. I'm going to take you guys out there in just a second here. But you can see, just super cool. That door there is going to take you to the kitchen. All right, so let's go this way. We'll take a look. you got your closet here. Nice big bifolds. Okay, you've got a three-quarter bath. So you got the um, sink stool and the shower is just behind the door you also got some storage in there as well we'll head to the kitchen you've got new flooring you've got quartz countertops farm sink white cabinets i'll set you in the middle here and just let you kind of take a look because it's a really really nice spot you got gas range which i know all of you cooks love stainless appliances fridge everything uh, just a really nice clean space new windows over here over the sink um, this kitchen is ready to go. We're gonna head out here. You've got a little mud room off the back. Nice area to kick the boots off when you come in from the garage, especially in the winter. I'll head out to the backyard here quick. You got a paver patio right off your kitchen. Got a nice green space. You can see we got a cedar picket fence. The garage is going to be a pretty oversized two car. So yeah, you've got a really nice, uh, quiet little space back here in the neighborhood. Commercial grade downspouts, house has gutters. It's really important in these old homes that you have gutters on your house because the foundations were not built to take on heavy rains. And so the gutters of keeping the rain away from those foundations is crucial. So we're gonna head upstairs. There's two bedrooms upstairs plus a full bathroom. What would a St. Paul house be without some squeaky floors? All right, so you got one of your bedrooms here. It's a nice size. Got a closet here to your left if you're still facing the front of the camera. Got a uh, newer window there. It's definitely not original. It's a really cute full bathroom here. And then the third bedroom or the second bedroom up right here, which is currently used as a nursery. Again, updated window. This house is ready to move in. It's clean, it's updated, and uh, it's in a really fun location. So if you guys have any questions or you'd like to schedule a showing, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, we'll talk to you on the next one.